All right, so in today's video, we're going to look at the best books you can get for your coin magic. Now, I love books, whether it's coin magic or card magic. I've got a pretty good library, bigger than some, but not as big as uh, a lot of people. But um, there's just something about a real book that it's better than videos, in my opinion, in a lot of ways. Sometimes it's easier when you're starting out to learn from a video. And uh, I'll make a video about videos later on. But today we're going to talk about the best books you can get. Now, of course, the first one you'll always hear about, you'll always hear recommended to you is Bobo's Modern Coin Magic. Now, this is the paperback version. Uh, you can get on Amazon or a lot of different places. You can get this now for around $10. And I mean, if you're just getting started, it's hard to beat this. Uh, I've had this book since 1994. I got on my 13th birthday from my big sister. So this is the one I started with. And then a few years later, I got the bigger book. So same book, but much thicker, uh, larger pictures because the dimensions are larger. But in this version, there are four new chapters, 100 new tricks. So you can, you can definitely start out with this one, but it's not that much more of an investment. I think this is around $35. Uh, why not go for the, the complete version, in my opinion, the complete version here. Uh, this is great because you can kind of throw it in a bag and, and say you're on a trip, you know, this is much more handy to, to be studying. So the choice is up to you. Uh, I love books, so I have both of them. Now, moving on from Bobo's, which is an absolute classic and a must have. We start getting into a little bit harder material, uh, not out of reach. If you've studied Bobo's for a long time, this is Coin Magic from Richard Kaufman. And here you've got just a great selection of coin guys. Di Vernon, Slydini, David Roth, Ed Marlowe, Derek Dingle Salstone, Jeff Lotta. Oh my gosh. You know, this is at the time, 1981. 1980, you know, this was the, the hottest stuff out there. And Bobo's was first published in 1952. And Bobo's as well has a variety of, of magicians in it. And it's sort of a, not a complete encyclopedia, but a lot of the stuff going on at the time in 1952. So fast forward about 30 years and you know, these guys were the, the most innovative guys at the time, and these were some of the best routines at the time. So this is a great stepping stone up from Bobo's, but it will be challenging for you. Now, my personal all-time favorite book with coin magic is David Roth's Expert Coin Magic. Now, this is a, you'll see many versions of this some that have a dust jacket, but uh, this is the original version with the, the slip case and uh, just a fantastic book. David Roth is uh, my hero in a lot of ways. I love other coin guys, but what David Roth created during his time, there was coin magic before him and then he changed coin magic. There was coin magic after David Roth and it was totally different because of all the innovations he had with the shuttle pass, his work on the Okito box, uh, his innovation with edge grip and creating the hanging coins and so many other great routines that a lot of them involved fun props and he made coin magic more quirky and kind of fun and so this will definitely be a step up from coin magic. But if you've gotten into this material and you've gotten a hold of 
a lot of the routines, you'll have no problem with the material in David Roth's book here. Now, in just the past couple years, we have another really big book, and that's from Michael Rubenstein. He's put basically his life's work into one book here. And I gotta say, it's, Michael Rubenstein is one of the more creative coin guys that sh uh, doesn't get a lot of credit a lot of times, but he's come up with some really innovative moves, and there's a lot of cute routines in here that are fun for you know, even kids, and I find coin magic can be hard to perform for kids. Now, that being said, this is the coin magic from one person, just like uh, David Roth's book. So there's going to be things that appeal to you and things that don't appeal to you. But I think this is another just invaluable resource to go along with these other great books. Uh, there's ideas in here that are totally unique to Dr. Rubenstein, and you won't find them anywhere else except for this book. So in my opinion, just in the past couple years, this has become on my list of a must-have book. I'd put it on the same skill level as uh, Coin Magic by Richard Kaufman, and maybe a little easier than David Roth's work uh, on the whole. I, you know, there's, there's bits in here that are very difficult, but on the whole, it's it's a very uh, intermediate to some advanced coin work in here. Now, I want to get to some books that you don't really hear of that often, or maybe you haven't heard of at all. The first one being uh, a small book from Curtis Can. Now, this is called The Pocket Book, and it's, it's a great book to get into maybe before you even start coin magic. There's a lot of theory in here. There's a lot of uh, basic ideas and, and conceptual ideas here. Uh, there's no actual coin tricks in this book. But like I said, it's a great introduction to coin magic and a book you don't see mentioned at all. I got this from lulu.com. It's a print on demand site. So these aren't, I, I can't say I've seen them in stock on any of the, the websites, you can go to lulu.com and search for Curtis Cam and you'll find this book. Now a, another great book to start out with before you kind of get into coin magic is Al Schneider on coins. Now this is a, a another very affordable book. This has been reprinted a few times. I think the first printing was in 1975. So it's gotten an updated cover and an updated look to it but you can get this on Amazon for uh, between 10 and 20 dollars and it's a it's a great foundational place to start again the magic from one person but Al Schneider known for the the matrix routine he's got a beautiful touch on coins and he's a great teacher he's a teacher in real life and the way he explains things and the reason behind things and how they work, it, it just fascinates me with this book. So for the price and what you're getting, I think this is an excellent book to, to get into your library, even if you have the big books here. Now, the last book I want to talk about, again, is a book uh, you may not have heard of at all. And that's The Unexpected Visitor from Doug Brewer. Now, I've I got this book around the time somewhere after I got into coin magic and David Ross expert coin magic and this this book just spoke to me I don't know the routines in it were they weren't easy but they were very attainable and it was there was a lot of new stuff in here that I was seeing for the first time uh, Doug Brewer is a, a real worker restaurant guy so all these routines are, you know, it's real world stuff. It's polished, it works, the effects are great. And like I said, I, I learned so much new stuff out of here. And it's just a thin book, but I, I loved the way even the book was designed, the, the layout of the book, the size of the book. Um, at the time it was $30. 
And I know for a fact Doug Brewer still sells this on his website. Uh, just Google Doug Brewer. Uh, I believe his website is DougBrewer.com or DougBrewerMagic.com. But uh, he still sells this book. I believe there is a DVD made of the material in here. And there might, there might be an Unexpected Visitor 2, Volume 2, that came out, which I, I never got a hold of that. But this is a book you don't hear too much about, but every routine in here is just a, a fantastic routine and worth adding to your library. So that's it for today's video. I tried to make it quick and informative and give you something fresh and new, stuff you've never heard of. So. Hopefully that gets you inspired to maybe pick one of these books up if you're able to. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite book? What, what book did you start out with? And don't make it Bobo's. Let's hear something new. L let me know in the comments.